What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about my goat, Flapple, and the awesome buffs and changes I've made to him uh, in my ROM hack, Pokemon Scramble Scarlet. If you're new here and you have no clue what that is, you've never heard of it before, you're new to my channel, first of all, shout out to you, you specifically who's watching this, who's new and clicked on this. I really appreciate you, appreciate you, and I highly recommend that you pause the video and give the description a quick little read. It's got some bullet points. It's pretty long, but obviously, you don't have to, like, I mean, it's up to you how much, how thoroughly you want to read it, but it'll give you... Uh, a lot of much needed context and background information about how this ROM hack is balanced and the way I approach things and why things are the way they are. Um, so yeah, definitely do that. And then when you're done with the video, don't click off now, but when you're done with the video, you can check out all the other playlists in the description. Uh, make sure you sub, you know, if this type of thing is interesting to you. If you like this style of uh, ROM hack, this style of video, definitely make sure you sub. I'm trying to get to 2K at the time of uploading this, so appreciate you if you do. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, Flapple, uh, last thing I'll just say, yeah, you get the links to like the move sheet in the description, uh, the Google sheet itself, but the Google sheet has the move sheet, which has um, all of the move categories organized. You can click them, it'll take you and tell you what they are because moves are pretty much all overhauled and sorted into new categories now. So yeah, that's all really important, obviously, to understand how the Pokemon will function. Um, of course, I have really, really, really important, usually exclusive moves listed here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, Flapple, the GOAT. Hustle is buffed. I'll get more into that later. Uh, Wind Rider. Great ability now. Very fitting for them. I like it's such a cool ability on a Grass Dragon, especially um, because you're weak to flying and ice. So you're immune to every single special flying move in the game. I believe besides Beak Blast, technically, but that doesn't really... I mean, that's on two cannon only, so... Every widespread special flying move in the game you're immune to, which is fucking awesome. Um, and then you're also immune to all these other moves, even early game, like a mid game. I don't know, like you're also weak to, you know, Pixie Dust and Twister. So Wind Rider is incredible. Heat Wave, you're neutral to. Obviously, you're very frail. You're, I mean, at least on the special side, you're incredibly frail. Um, with EVs, you could tank a hit if you need to, especially if you're running Unburden with like max HP. This fucking music sucks, man. I don't know why I picked this, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, and then Unburden. Unburden, so it's no longer going to be on Sceptile. He's going to have Quick Feet instead. Little spoiler alert there. Um, because 120 base speed or 125, whatever, is doesn't need it. And also, I think Unburden... I mean, it fits them both fine, but I love the idea of... Because I don't know if you've ever seen Flapple's animations in-game. That's why I also see him having such a high speed set of 115. If you've ever seen him, he's... My man, my man is flapping, bro. Like, he's, he's going at it. Like, I love him. He's such a cool little guy. Um, also, if you're curious about Applin... Diplin and Hydrapple and Appleton, you can check out their respective videos. Um, I have videos explaining all of their changes much more in-depth as well. Uh, the decision is very fair between all three of them. That's a very big thing that I put a lot of time and effort into thinking about is making branched evolutions and optional evolutions all worthwhile. Um, you know, even keeping the pre-evolved forms over the evolutions a lot of the time is a, is a genuine option. Uh, Flapple is by far the most like hyper-offensive fast of, the th of all of them, of all three evolutions, or all four technically, because you should be counting Diplin as its own. Um, it, it's, it can do some great utility stuff um, as well, you know, stuff like Caustic Acid, which if you read the Pokedex, um, that's also why I made Dip, uh, what's his fucking name? Jesus, Flapple. Um, it's also why I made Flapple a mixed attacker, more of a mixed attacker. He's already one in vanilla, but more of a mixed attacker is because um, in its cheeks, it stores an acid capable of causing chemical burns. Uh, it spits a powerful acid. It spits acidic liquid strong enough to melt metal, etc., etc. So that's the rationale for Caustic Acid, which is an exclusive move. That's incredible on something this fast. I mean, it gives you free burns. It's also very early on, level 34. Again, that's a free burn on anything. It also does some good damage. You also get your, you know, regular old Acid Spray, Acid Reflux, both of which, I mean, Acid Reflux is just Acid Spray, but it poisons instead of doing damage. Those are both really great utility options. Obviously, you get Strength Sap super early. Um, all of the Applin Evolutions and Applin itself get Strength Sap, but uh, App Flapple gets it the earliest because it's the frailest, so it can take advantage of it earlier um, in the game, you know, when stuff, I mean, the AI isn't using as powerful things, although you can always use it, I mean, again, on Team Locked, you might need your Flapple to fulfill that defensive role, despite not looking like it should with its base stats, um, that's the whole point, is that every Pokemon is very versatile in this ROM hack, uh, but yeah, Hustle is obviously great, I've buffed it immensely in all sorts of ways, um, Wide Lens, as you can read, uh, is now a 25% boost, so that means moves that are 80% accurate won't miss, because it, if it's math. If you don't understand that math, don't worry about it, but trust me, it's it's 80% times 1.25 is, uh, is, is 100. So, wide lens giving 25 means hustle. On something this fast, you can just click regular old moves. You know, you can just alternate between regular, stat, you know, just regular old 100 base power dragon rush. That won't miss um, with hustle, because that's 100% accurate. Every single move in the game is 100% accurate, unless it's one of these 23 moves. 
In a dip, in a Flapple's case, the only moves here that he gets that are inaccurate are Dive Bomb. I think I gave him Gunk Shot. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, just Dive Bomb and Gunk Shot um, that are inaccurate, and Hurricane. That's that's it, as, as far as I can tell. Um, every other move is accurate, so is 100% accurate. So that's really great um, for Hustle. Because again, slap that wide lens on. You also got tons of moves that straight up won't miss. So earlier on, you've got that seed shot for priority. It's uh, grass type quick attack. You've also got aerial ace and creeping strike, which are bug and uh, flying type. You know, priority moves, physical. Um, you've got last shot and smart strike. Smart strike is awesome. So smart strike is a bit of a reach, but he does have a little horn esque antenna thing here. It is like pointy. So I was like, fuck it, I'll let him have it because he's got hustle. And smart strike gives you an accuracy boost now as well. Same with grab apple. Grab apple is an incredible exclusive move. I mean, it's a signature move. This is actually a true signature move in this ROM hack, where literally only one Pokemon gets it. Um, and it's awesome. I mean, it's a priority 90 base power, hustle boosted. It can't miss. And then it also gives you plus one accuracy after you click it. So. It's like a one-time big, big damage button, right? Uh, because again, hustle boosted, can't miss. And then you can run uh, any item you want with that because you don't have to run wide lens to land any attacks after. So hustle overall, heavily reworked, very good. And then at the very end of the game, you get Draco Jet as well, which is awesome. However, keep in mind that it's pretty end, pretty end game. It's only legal for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 boss fights, which is honestly a good amount given that there's like 46 or 47 in the game, I believe. Um, so, you know, a solid fourth of the game, you've got that Draco Jet for the end game, but it's still an end game move. Same with Shell Smash. Shell Smash is legal for even less. It's only legal for seven. Um, Shell Smash is obviously very good because you have Grab Apple, which cheeses Quick Claw. Um, speaking of Quick Claw, that is reworked as well. Uh, it's a single use consumable item, so that works incredibly with, uh, with Unburden. And the whole point is, uh, in the, with, the, with these three abilities, is you're supposed to switch between the abilities when you need them. So. You're running Wind Rider, Wind Rider when you see that the AI has, you know, a move that you're immune to. Again, every single special flying move. Um, and then also, you know, stuff like Heat Wave, which is going to be relatively common on the AI. Maybe Petal Blizzard once in a while. Leaf Storm, not so much because the AI doesn't abuse it as well. It's mostly the special flying moves that are going to be outside of early game, you know, priority moves. Um, AI isn't as good at abusing stuff like Leaf Storm because they don't know how to switch out once they drop their stats. So... Um, I mean, maybe once in a while, but it's probably not the most common use of it uh, for you as the player. It's mostly just special flying moves you're immune to, which is super, super great. And um, yeah, you also get an attack boost when you switch in as well from Wind Wider. And then also you can set up Tailwind and do that. Honestly, it's, that's already pretty fucking great. Like Wind Rider, plus one attack, plus two speed with Tailwind for a couple turns. Uh, three full turns, right? If you just manually set Tailwind, you get three full turns after. So that's great. And then you can also grab Apple again to um, cheese that Quick Claw at level 50, which is relatively late into the game, but it's, you know, I believe it's like 21-ish boss fights that you have level 50 legal for. So, you know, a little, uh, the second half, you know, end game, basically, uh, or late game is when grab Apple's legal. I'd say 50 is where the late game would start, probably. Eh, it's subjective, but that's how I would define it, at least. I mean, at least I'll have a better idea when the game's actually out, but... Yeah, Caustic Acid, great utility, Strength Snap, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, U-turn pivots, tons of great coverage. It's Again, its special attack isn't boosted by Hustle, so of course you're going to be leaning towards the physical sets, but because of Move Relinner and the fact that, again, it's bounced for Team Locked, you will be taking advantage of your special options once in a while, especially like Mud Bomber, for example. Like, you don't get a physical ground move, you know? So Mud Bomber is great. Um, that, uh, you know, stuff like Hurricane can be used once in a while, although you have tons of other, you know, Air Blast and Dive Bomb and all those other... Uh, flying moves. Um, but yeah, Grab Apple, incredible, incredible tool. Pretty broken, honestly, but I mean, that's it's cool. I, I like Flapple, man. I let him cook, you know. Um, and uh, of course, a bunch, not a bunch, but a good amount of other Pokemon have access to these types of priority flinch uh, 1pp moves. Um, but they are all exclusive. Like, every single one of them is exclusive, so it feels more special, more unique to that Pokemon. And in this case, it synergizes especially with Hustle. It's tailored for Hustle. Um, for example, instead of making a drop defense like it used to, I made it give you the accuracy boost. So, yeah, um, Draco Jet, obviously incredible, strong priority. It's 105 power, that's why it's endgame, and it's boosted by Hustle. However, you can't use that twice in a row, so you can't slap on a choice band and just brainlessly click that move. It's still a very, you know, strong move, of course. I mean, it's incredible. Um, and again, those sweeps are really easier, a lot easier with, with Flapple because of the fact that Draco Jet and Grab Apple, and even stuff like Seed Shot, will out-prioritize uh, the Quick Claw. Because if you don't know, Quick Claw um, only makes you move first in your priority bracket. It doesn't actually make you move, it doesn't actually give the move priority. So, for example, example, uh, you know, quick attack versus quick claw tackle, even though tackle's not a move anymore, but just for the sake of argument, the quick claw tackle is going to move second after quick quick attack. Um, that's just one hypothetical. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, this guy's super versatile, super fun to use. Again, Unburdened is great when you need the extra speed. Of course, you do have... I mean, until you get stuff like Grab Up on Draco Jet, you'll be using Unburdened even more. Uh, because 115 speed is great on paper, but keep in mind the AI is going to have 31 IVs and plus speed natures while you're not guaranteed a plus speed nature, and all the eggs are preset to 20 speed EVs, uh, IVs. excuse me. So I can do the math real quick if you really... I'll, I'll do it out of curiosity. Why not? So if you get a neutral nature flap or you know neutral speed nature, which is most likely, um, you're hitting 318 speed. Meanwhile, AI... And again, of course, this is level 100, but this, the speed relative scales pretty well. It's not perfect, but it scales relatively well uh, as levels change. Um, how did I put 130 in? What am I doing? You hit... You don't even have speed 100. Yeah, man. It's, it's not as great as you might think. Unless you get that lucky plus speed nature. If you get plus speed, you're, you're cooking. Yeah, you outspeed base 95 with a plus speed nature, which is great. That's still, I mean, that's a pretty common speed tier in this hack. It's good. But it's not like, holy shit, he's so fast. Which is why hustle with that wide lens. I mean, it, you can also run bulkier sets, whatever. You get the point. But 115 speed isn't as great as it might look for your purposes as a player. And that's go that goes for any fast Pokemon. And that's why Unburden is useful. Because... You can use it, easily trigger it, even just outside of the Quick Claw, because keep in mind, this game is balanced around Item Claws as well, so you might want to use your Quick Claw on another Pokemon on your team, right? So if that's the case, you can use tons of other Unburdened items. I mean, there's so many cool ways that to abuse it. Um, the easiest and probably the most OP would be Endure, Laichi Berry, you get plus one attack, plus two speed. Uh, although Wind Rider Tailwind is similar, however, Unburdened speed boost lasts until you switch out, while Tailwind is, of course, only three turns. Um, but one of them requires you not to take any damage, technically, although you will probably take damage on the turn you click Tailwind, so you get the point. Um, Endure is a very safe way of doing it, though. And then the beautiful thing about Flapple is once the Quick Claw Mon comes in on the AI, which is supposed to be a deterrent for, you know, fast setup sweepers or whatever, I might end, I might end up having the nerf set up at some point, or, or even remove Endure, because I've removed Protect for the, for the reasons that it's too easy to choose Quick Claw, but Endure at least is like somewhat less brainless versus uh, Quick Claw. Of course, it still is pretty brainless, but say the Quick Claw Pokemon has a sleep move or a move that can burn or poison or paralyze, then it's like, okay, Endure isn't as safe as it, as it might be otherwise. But of course, that's not always going to be the case. So regardless, Grab Apple after that Endure uh, Light Chewberry Cheese is, is really fucking great um, because it, it burns up that Quick Claw on the AI. Um, and then Draco Jet straight up out-prioritizes it as well. So you have two moves that out-prioritize uh, even stuff like Sucker Punch, technically, even Seed Shot, but those are obviously less powerful. Uh, not that they're weak, I mean, they're very strong, you know. Grass Power, you can slap a Choice Ban on for certain boss fights if you just need to get one kill with that Hustle Seed Shot or Sucker Punch. You've also got uh, First Impression, Lunge, and Creeping Strike, and U-Turn, so tons of bug moves that don't miss. Um, which is also pretty soulful, because even though he's not actually a bug type, and I don't think he should be, unlike Diplin and Hydrapple, um, it's cool to give him some bug moves for flavor and also just for cool coverage. Um, bug Bomber being a really cool one. Uh, on the special side, that's Mud Bomber, same thing, it's special surging strikes, um, can't be used twice in a row, but even, you know, keep in mind there's Terra too, you know, if you got like Terra fucking bug, that'd be hype, dude, you get that stab, hustle, first impression, stab, hustle, U-turn, you get that bug bomber, you get all the, you know, stab, hustle, lunge, tons of Terra, I mean, literally every Terra type is great in game versus AI, that's why I have it so that you're RNGing your Terra type, but if you pull, you know, by pure RNG, you pull that Terra bug, then that's super cool, but any Terra type, even obviously her Terra flying would be great, all types of Terra types are super dope on this guy um yeah there's a bunch of other stuff i could cover like again uh, unburden even simple things like unburden uh dragon ascent frenzy plant draco meteor leaf storm with white herb dragon ascent and frenzy plant being physical draco meteor leaf storm variants um which is why they're you know almost 10 levels later it's because the, you know it, this hustle boosted while the special ones aren't so i did put a lot of the special moves earlier to kind of encourage the special mixed flapple again though with movie liner and the fact that you're playing team lock you're gonna be forced sometimes to use that mixed special attacking stat despite what might look like a more physical leaning pokemon it is physically leaning but it doesn't mean that you're not going to be using those special moves ever um even stuff like draco meteor into like a dragon ascent is great you know because you're dropping one stat then you you click with the other so stuff like that is also great um chloroblast is fucking very strong obviously shell smash is incredibly strong i don't need to explain why that's good at the end game uh i think shell smash is a cool flavor move for them because the whole design of them is that their apple is like coming apart right like it makes the wings it makes the tail it makes the head i think it's cool um a little weird one but i think weirder pokemon get shell smash to be honest um i can't think of one at the top of my head but they're definitely weirder ones man i mean shit if you i mean there's some that inherit it from evolution like gorbis huntail who make no sense but it's because of clam pearl um there's one that I'm thinking of that I can't... 
I mean, whatever. I know for a fact there are weirder ones, and also it's a ROM hack. You know, I can slap on some weird stuff like that once in a while. I think it's cool. Um, I don't like sweeping very much. In fact, I'm, again, I might have a soft ban on it, depending on uh, how OP it ends up being once the game is out. I do have anti-setup stuff put into, put into play, but there's so many tools with Movie Learner. I think Movie Learner kind of Movie Learner, Movie Learner, and Terra kind of break setup, even with all the anti-setup stuff I have put in place. But we'll see. Again, once the game is out. Uh, but yeah, Chloroblast is great with Unburden, or just in general, but especially with Unburden, because uh, essentially it takes half your health, and then it gives you plus one special attack, and, it, and also a very, very powerful move. So uh, it's kind of like, st uh, well, Steel Beam is the same thing. It's kind of like uh, Electro Shot and Meteor, Meteor Beam in that regard, but instead of taking a charge turn, it takes half your health. So, which on a fast sweeper isn't a big deal when you're pl you know playing in-game, you can ensure that you're not going to kill yourself, right? So very, very easy to... Um, click that chloroblast uh you can even do unburden chloroblast citrus berry or some shit you know you have all or even, the easiest way is just pivot in slow pivot in you know and then click you know, or, or pivot on a resist and then click quick claw chloroblast and that's the easiest way to do it but even stuff like uh, citrus berry chloroblast is great with unburden and then you get plus one special attack and plus two speed but the beauty of it is it doesn't take a setup turn because ideally when you click chloroblast you're killing whatever's in front of you right um so Unlike stuff like Tailwind or Endure, you don't have to take a day, you don't have to take a hit. So that's even that's incredible. Uh, finishing Blow is also an incredible sweeping tool um, that gives you plus three attack when you kill something. Um, so with Unburden, obviously you can see how that's very good. Again, might have to end up banning uh, setup at some point, but for now this is what he can do. And of course he's got the raw damage, you know, with the hustle and shit, and and then the Wind Rider for that great utility and immunity, and also the attack boost. So overall, this guy is super super cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below if you made it to the end. I appreciate you very much if you did. And I'll be back for more. Uh, there's other things I could touch on, like Belch even with Unburden is super great. You know, you eat the berry, you get plus one special attack each time you click Belch now. So that's great. Um, but I, I, for the sake of time, I will end it here. And uh, I appreciate you if you made it to the end. Peace.